I'd like to bring in now Senator Gene Shaheen, a, a Democrat from New Ham Hampshire. Senator, thanks so much for joining us. It's to be with you. You served alongside Senator Feinstein for more than a dozen years. Uh, in your statement, you called her a titan of the Senate and a trailblazer for women everywhere. How are you viewing her legacy tonight? When I was um, just a newly elected state senator from New Hampshire, I had the opportunity to come down to Washington to see Senator Feinstein on a panel talking about how to get things done and reaching across the aisle. She had just fit, passed her assault weapons bill. And one of the things she talked about was the importance of sticking to your principles and speaking out for what you believe in. And that's the history of Dianne Feinstein in the Senate. She stuck to her principles. She spoke out for what she believed in. She she was passionate about what Californians needed and worked every day to make that happen. And even, you know, she voted yesterday. Um, so despite her illness, um, despite how frail she was, she came to the Senate and voted. And her integrity um, was such a role model for me and for women, not just in the Senate, but throughout the country. Anyone who was, any woman who aspired to political life could look at Dianne Feinstein and get a model for how to behave. Yeah, you know, you, you mentioned the phrase twice so far in our conversation that she would, uh, you know, work across the aisle. We're told that she would roll up her sleeves, do anything it took, uh, you know, to get what she was trying to get done. That seems pretty different than what we're seeing in today's Congress, literally on the brink of a government shutdown. Well, it certainly is different than what we're seeing in the House. In the Senate, we've passed a bipartisan uh, continuing resolution to keep the government open that includes support for Ukraine and disaster assistance. Um, it passed with 76 votes, um, the motion to proceed. And what I hear from my constituents is that they want us to work together in Washington to address the problems that we have in this country. And one of the most fundamental um, responsibilities we have as elected officials is to deal with the budget. And so the, the fact that we see a small group of extremists in the House right now who are holding this country hostage is not acceptable. And so, Senator, uh, finally, for your constituents who are watching, right now it doesn't appear that the House is ready to avert a shutdown in any kind of meaningful way. That could change at any minute. But what are your biggest concerns for the people of New Hampshire heading, to, heading into this uncertainty and if the government does shut down? I met a number of um, nonprofit um, representatives who are providing social services for people, um, people who are administering the WIC program for women, pregnant women and children who can survive for a week or two. But after that, um, women and children are going to begin to be denied food under that program. Uh, I talked to some contractors who um, Hopefully, if they have multi-year contracts, they can continue, but they can't start anything new. Um, men and women in the military, we have a Coast Guard station in New Hampshire. Um, fortunately, we're now paying the Coast Guard in a shutdown, but they're still working um, without pay until the government opens again. Um, so there's this real hardship on people who don't deserve it, people who are just trying to do their jobs, work hard for this country. And those extreme House members who are holding things up need to rethink what they're doing and stop acting in the interests of Vladimir Putin and the People's Republic of China and start acting in the best interests of America. Senator Jean Shaheen from the great state of New Hampshire, thank you so much for taking your time and thank also you. sharing your thoughts with us on a woman you call the titan of the Senate. We appreciate it. Thank you. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.